President Obama believes in the boogeyman of global warming, which is another debate in its entirety. As a result, he wants to see the U.S. follow progressive countries like Spain in creating programs in which the government aggressively backs the production of green energy. It would largely involve funding the building of equipment and plants that generate electricity through harvesting solar and wind sources. On the surface, it seems harmless and practical. Spain generates almost 30% of its power by harnessing the wind, while we manage less than 1%. Can't afford any more empty talk, and that's why, as president, I will invest 150 billion dollars over 10 years in establishing a green energy sector that will create up to five million new jobs, including jobs here in Pennsylvania. I'll pass a law that says 25 percent of our electricity has to come from renewable energy sources by the year 2025. President Obama wants to lower our dependency on fossil fuel-based energy production and is willing to commit hundreds of billions in creating vast numbers of new green jobs. How could anyone oppose this program? One mountain of disturbing evidence comes from economics PhD Gabriel Calzada Alvarez from King Juan Carlos University in Madrid. Spain had been aggressively funding green energy initiatives back to the mid-90s, and this study covered 2000 to 2008 to show the economic effects of this government-subsidized green energy program. We'll discuss the report's findings in a moment, but let's first look at the actual employment landscape in Spain right now. More than a quarter of Spaniards living in Andalusia are without work. And this morning, they've overwhelmed the unemployment office. <laughs> now that the construction sector is not doing well, I ask myself if it would be better to return with my family to Bolivia. Professionally, there is no more work, and with what we get, we can't make do. Talk about that unemployment rate. Jobless rate in Spain is 19.5%, and that is the biggest unemployment rate in the EU. Fitch flagged this as well this morning. And what's more worrisome, I have another statistic for you, the youth unemployment rate in Spain, and those are people 25 years old and under, that's 45%. Wow. So some potential social unrest here once Spain starts belt tightening when you have so many people unemployed. There's been a big effect on spending power, he tells me. I'm paying a mortgage. Thank God I'm receiving unemployment benefits, which is a big help, but a lot of people aren't getting it. There are a lot of immigrants, for example, that don't have those benefits, and this will create a chain reaction of crime and robberies. Even in the smart streets of Madrid, there are clear signs all is not well. With unemployment soaring and economic indicators negative, the government has reached for the credit card and borrowed billions for its stimulus package. Well, the president doesn't want us to emulate Spain economically, right? He only wants us to follow their lead in pouring hundreds of billions into making green energy. Maybe we should look at Dr. Alvarez's report on green energy investment and its impact on the Spanish economy. Dr. Alvarez made some disturbing discoveries. He described the program as an unquestionable job killer. The data focused on measuring actual megawatts of electricity available for use contrasts with what it costs to produce that electricity. The analysis showed that for every single green job created, it killed 2.2 conventional jobs, or for every 14 jobs, it killed almost 9 conventional roles. President Obama pledged to create as many as 5 million green jobs, but according to this study, that could potentially eliminate up to 11 million conventional jobs in the U.S. The study showed Spain spent 571,000 euros for every job on average and a million euros for every job in wind farming. Every green megawatt of power installed killed 5.28 jobs overall. In Spain, sunk 28 billion euros into this program, and when you consider President Obama wants to spend $150 billion on the program in the U.S. Spain used credit to fund their green initiative, which produced less energy at a much higher cost, and it killed more than double the jobs it created. 
Spain, which has the EU's fourth largest economy, is on the brink of a bailout and owns the highest unemployment in the EU at 20%. What began as an earnest endeavor has decimated Spain's economy. Based on this precedent, why would we do the same thing but on a much more massive scale? Dr. Alvarez was asked the same question. It's really difficult to understand why would a country like the U.S. with relatively low unemployment want to learn how to create jobs from a country like Spain, which has the record of unemployment rate in the developed countries. President Obama wants to commit four times the resources Spain put into a green energy program that left them crippled with debt and unemployment. They produce much less energy at a much higher cost, lowering the GDP. As Cyrenox, the world's largest stainless steel maker, is redirecting new investments outside Spain because they can't be competitive making products at home due to power cost. How do you feel about green energy now? You should check where your rep stands on cap and trade before you vote in November.